Hey everyone, this is Jason here. Um, I'm going to walk you through some key parts of our cutting workflow um, that are part of our storyboard view. So this down here is what we call the storyboard view. Um, and it's an order, um, you have slices back to back. It's um, gapless. I think of it a bit like the magnetic timeline, but it doesn't try to show time at all. Um, this is really focused on cutting and uh, that alone. So we remove the distraction um, of time. Um, and then up here is what we call the doodle area. Uh, we probably should have a better name for it at some point, but the idea with this is um, as, you're, as you're starting to rough cut, um, these might be slices that you think you're gonna use, but maybe you don't know for sure yet. And it's also a nice place to try alternates. Um, so here's a kind of a similar looking shot right here. You might say, oh, instead of that one, I wanna replace it with this. Um, so just a really plastic way to doodle, um, yeah. And um, let's see, yeah, you can, you can reorder things in the timeline view. Um, you also can use the arrow keys, scroll through the selection, and if you hold shift, it'll go to um, the, you know, far extreme ends of the, the sequence. Um, playback is something new and exciting. So you start playback by hitting the spacebar. And the spacebar again will pause it, um, and escape will take you out of the playback view. So I'll hit spacebar again, go back into playback. Um, now one of the things we're, we're super excited about is making adjustments to um, your slices as you're watching the sequence playback. So for example, um, I think everyone is pretty familiar with the mouse wheel stepping we have. So if I want to make some adjustments on this frame, I just hold over with the mouse, um, and it pauses the playback, and then after I've stopped for a moment, it will resume playback on that um, sequence. So say right here, I want this, um, this focus pull to be a little more snappy filling, so I'll start a little closer in, and then maybe I'll tighten it back up just a little bit on the, the end. So you can just keep making these adjustments um, at, at any point. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you're on the, the it'll take you back to where, whatever you're adjusting, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, another thing we think is really important is as soon as you do anything that uh, kind of indicates you might change the edit, um, we pause the playback. And the reason for that is we don't want um, kind of, you know, the, the context you had um, and the selection that you want to make versus what the, the player is doing um, to fight with each other. So we pause, and then once you're done making a change, it'll then resume the state it was in. So if, if you were playing, it'll go back to playing. If you were paused, it'd be paused. So for example, if I pause it and make a change, it's just paused afterward. Um, you also can change your selection with the arrow keys. So if you're playing, um, it'll pause it, and then after a moment, resume based on your new selection. And you can use shift and arrow keys, uh, shift and left and right arrow keys to go to the very beginning and very end. Um, and something else um, is you can even drag something into the bucket. Oh, sorry, I, the bucket was the old name for it into the doodle. So say I want to put this over in here, the video playback area disappears. Um, and if this was a mistake, I didn't want to actually drag it. I can just drag it back down here, goes back to playback, plays as normal. Um, or if you actually wanted to drag something out of the, the sequence, um, then when you drop it, um, it takes you back to the, the normal doodle plus uh, sequence workflow. Um, yeah, and that's about all. And then I think everyone's pretty familiar with our mouse wheel stepping. Um, one of the things we think is super important uh, in the storyboard view is to make these frame accurate adjustments. So all you do to make these changes is hover your mouse over either the starting or ending frame, each one of these slices we call them, and roll your mouse wheel and you have super fast um, you know, frame accurate stepping. And then you also can see in the 
the middle there, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up in the screencast, but there's a little, that little white bar shows where in the slice, or where in the clip your slice um, resides, uh, to give you a, a nice visual there. And yep, so that's our cutting workflow. Thanks.